So these concrete splash boards come in at about eight pounds per foot. So at an eight foot board, we're looking at 56 pounds. Um, if you get a, into a longer length than that, you're gonna wanna ask, ask for help. Um, we currently are making uh, sevens, seven, six, eight, nine, and 10. Actually six foot as well. So six, seven, seven, six, eight, nine, and 10. So the beauty of this bracket system, or one of the beauties of this bracket system, it allows you to preset all your boards in place before you fasten anything in. So if you come to a place where maybe you set a column wrong and you need to have a longer board, or maybe you get to your corner column and you need to adjust things a little bit, um, you can have the whole building laid out before you get to that point, which is important because you can't go to Menards and pick another one of these up, right? Or any big box store. Nobody makes them but us. Make sure we get our joints nice and tight. Everything looks pretty. Give that one another couple taps. So we're pre-cutting all these to lengthen the plant um, after they're manufactured. If you have to cut one in the field, you can. It's not really altogether that hard. Um, as we're going to have to for this corner. You're going to end up with an odd measurement on the corner column, depending on how you guys like to build. So this one's going to be eight foot two and three quarters. So I, I got a nine foot board here. I'm going to measure it down eight foot two and three quarters. So again, going through proper safety measures for cutting this. There is uh, some fiberglass in this product, along with the composite uh, basalt fiber rebar. So that can make some pretty small particles. So we wanna throw a mask on. Uh, it might not be comfortable. It might fog up your glasses, but that's better than the alternative. Like you say, it cuts really easy. Um, we put a lot of work into this product to make it easy for construction, like we, like we mentioned. Everything lined up pretty well, looks pretty. So I think we are ready to move on to the next step here of putting these uh, nails in for these columns. So that process is something you're pretty used to. We know everything's right where it needs to be. So I'm sure everyone looks at the permacolumn installation instructions every night before they go to bed like I do. You're gonna see that this nail gets installed at a little bit of an angle, give us more withdrawal capacity out of that fastener. Also keep us from hitting that rebar. Get that same inch and a quarter minimum penetration for these longer nails. Even though the nail's longer, still going into the column about an inch. Like a glove, on to the next one. So this is the corner one, coming right in. So this is a little bit longer than that shorty we used before. I'll show both for your comparison. Right, need more nail since we're going through more product. Pulls that in really good. I like to take a normal structural screw meant for treated lumber and run it in to the end just to hold those two together like that. So that way nothing's moving on me while I'm putting it in. So same, gonna run this one in.
that's as solid as can be. And the same process that you're already used to. Plus a bracket that really, in my opinion, I think makes the whole thing easier than what you're used to. I'm careful on the placement to know that I'm not hitting the rebar and I'd rather over drill it than under drill it. Because if you've ever tried to take one of these concrete nails out, you'll know that it's just not gonna happen. Try not to booger it up quite like I did. Uh, again, I'm not a professional. Total running time on this, uh, if you take a look at it, it's gonna be pretty short for running brackets and splashboard on the whole corner of a building. And we're going to be ready to put columns in and get this thing rocking and rolling in pretty short order. Last one here coming into our last column and again this is just a mock-up you'll see that normally a building is more than a, a three column base long we'd be ready to go on to the next one here as well and we're done <laughs>